Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer and export a LumaFusion project onto the desktop computer so that it can be opened by something like DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro. So LumaFusion is one of the best mobile video editors out there and sometimes what you want to be able to do is to transfer it onto a desktop computer. So I'm going to show you how to do this on the iPad. So on the iPad itself, once you have LumaFusion open and we have a project open, what we can do is to click on the export button here. So that's the box with the arrow coming out. And then what we're going to do is to open the XML project package. So if I tap this now, basically it's saying that we have an FCP XML export function, and this is actually a paid service. So I know that it costs money to export these files, especially on the later versions of LumaFusion. This is a relatively new feature. Because LumaFusion is a one-time cost application, I don't mind them charging me for the privilege of exporting these files because it adds so much extra functionality and a lot of support is required to get LumaFusion files to work on the desktop. So basically I'm going to tap this FCP XML export button here and make the payment of £17.99. I enter my Apple ID password and then press OK and it's going to authorize this purchase for me. So now this purchase is all set, I'm going to press OK. And now we have the XML project package as an option on the iPad. So I'm going to press this button now. And what I'm going to do is to add it to my files. So I'm going to put it in my file section. I prefer to do it this way because then if the transfer fails for some reason, then I don't have to export it all over again. I'm going to press files here. And what we have is an option here to include full media, trim media, no relinkable media or no media at all. So what I prefer to do is to add the full media. This adds all of the clips that you've added in and it's quite useful if you want to extend clips or reduce clips. However, if you want to keep the project file small, I would say trim media is the right way to go. I want to choose full media because this project isn't that big and I want to be able to have the option to work on it fully on the desktop computer. Once I'm done here, I'm going to tap the share button at the top right hand side of this little pop-up box. So when I get into the export file, I can actually click here, add link to folder, and then I'm able to get into my files application. So I can choose whether I want to save it on iPad. I've got it here on a shared folder at the moment. I'm going to select here on my iPad and I'm going to create a new folder. So this one's going to be called LumaFusion Exports. I'm just press enter here and then I'm going to select that folder and press done. Then I'm going to select LumaFusion Exports. Then I'm going to tap the top right hand corner share button there. And then that's going to create that project file and then export it to my files application. So now that's done, I'm going to tap out and then go into my files application here. So then I'm going to go to on my iPad and then go to LumaFusion Exports. Then I can find the zip file here. So what I'm going to do here is to long tap on the actual file itself and then I'm going to click share. And then I'm going to airdrop this file. So once that airdrop is available, what I'm going to do is to make sure the Wi-Fi is turned on on my laptop. So once airdrop's turned on, I'm going to transfer that file from this iPad to the computer here by using airdrop. So I'm going to tap Andrew's MacBook Air. Airdrop is automatically on when you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and you have Wi-Fi turned on, then you'll be able to see each other. So I'm receiving the airdrop file here. So now that's complete. This should be in the downloads folder. So what's happened now is that I have my downloads folder here. I've got Cruise Wi-Fi. I'm going to double click on this to extract the entire folder structure. And if I double click on this, you'll see that we have this FCP XML file and then all of the media files attached here. So there's not that many, but I'm going to import this now into DaVinci Resolve. So here I'm using DaVinci Resolve and this version is the version 17. So I'm going to click File, Import, Timeline. Then I'm going to go to my downloads folder, cruise Wi-Fi, and then find the FCP XML file and click open here. And here it's going to ask us some settings. I'm going to keep these by default. It's picked up the correct 1080p resolution settings and then I'm going to press OK. Here it's asking us to find the files. So I'm going to click yes. I'm going to make sure that this finds the downloads folder that I have. So this is in my user folder. I'm going to press OK. And now it's linked this entire project file. So if I now go to edit, I can now see the exact file that was here. If I go back to my LumaFusion, this is the exact file that I had. It's all there, all the media is relinked. So this is video of the footage of the back of the ship. And that's all there. If I zoom in a little bit, it looks a bit clearer. So that is basically how you transfer a LumaFusion project file into DaVinci Resolve, I'm sure that the same process should work with Final Cut Pro too. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.